is in the content center for us. She went to talk to a family who said the damage to their home could have been a lot worse. Well, Miguel, Christina, this tree didn't just land on a home. Part of it actually went through the roof. And when we show you this video we're about to show you, you'll see just how lucky these people were that no one was seriously hurt. It's huge. It goes all the way to the front end of the building. Thursday's windstorms may have come and gone. So my mom ran in the kitchen. She's like, oh my God, like a tree fell on top of the house. But Jalisa Hoy's family is still dealing with the effects. The concrete lifted right here. The windows and stuff is kind of cracked and our roof is a little caved in. We were afraid that it was going to collapse. I want to give you an idea of how much earth this tree ripped up before it slammed into these homes. It tore up concrete and just slabs of earth. To give you an idea, I'm five feet tall and you can see how big this tree was. I asked the people that live here, I said, how big was this tree before it toppled into your home? They said at least 40 to 50 feet. And the fireplace kind of broke its fall because if it would have went that way, it would have went straight through my sister's room. The fireplace didn't just save the boys' home. Seeing all happen, the tree came in. But possibly, Shalana rakes life. I see a light. Uh, you do? Yeah. yeah, that's the sun. This tree branch right. slammed through her roof and came within inches of where she'd normally be sitting. If I had been in the chair, when I was getting up off the floor, I would have impaled my head. The heater wasn't reaching me to where I could get comfortable enough, so <laughs> I sat down on the floor just in time. Yesterday's storm packed hurricane force winds topping 80 miles an hour. I heard thunder and I heard rumbling and I heard the cat running around. Granny was so afraid. And even though it was a scary moment for the people who live in these homes, I'm just a little scared. They're thankful for better weather today. I'm just glad nobody was hurt. And those people I spoke to that live in the apartment complex told me they are having problems with the apartment taking care of that tree damage. I took those concerns to the managers. They told me, of course, they are aware of all the problems that this tree caused. They told me the tree would be removed by tonight. Coming up tonight at 6, I'm checking in with those homeowners to see if the tree has been dealt with. I'll update you on what they had to say. Live in the Content Center, Cindy Lunderberg, Fox 5 News, local Los Angeles.